today we're going to talk about miter saws. Stick around. So many questions from beginner woodworkers about how to use certain tools. One of those tools is the miter saw. So I'm going to go over a couple steps and show you a little bit about my miter saw and how I learned to use a miter saw. Miter saw is one of the basic tools. In fact, it's listed in my beginner tools list. It's what I think that beginners should start with, start with as far as saws go. It's pretty safe to operate and it's harder to hurt yourself on this saw and you can do so much with a miter saw. When I started woodworking, I only had a miter saw for years. That's all I had. I didn't have a table saw. I didn't buy my circular saw for a while. So I found ways to work around certain plans and to make things work with just this saw alone. Okay, so this is a Delta Cruiser 10 inch miter saw. It is a sliding miter saw and a compound miter saw. I'm gonna talk to you about what those words mean here in a little bit, but first I wanted to go over just what it looks like and what each piece is for. This is the table, this is the fence. This is what you lay your work piece across in order to cut. This is the fence and it helps you kind of butt your piece up against that, helps keep it nice and secure and straight and in line. Here is the trigger, this is the part everything is unplugged right now you guys but this is the trigger so in order to make the blade spin you have to hold this piece down and then pull the trigger so it makes it a little harder to accidentally start it when you're putting a piece in it's a safety measure so you learn to kind of and all miter saws that I've used the DeWalt the Cobalt this one a Bosch Hitachi they all have that double trigger so that you can keep yourself safe this one has a little light on top and it's not plugged in right now but this is what helps me find my guide. Some miter saws have a laser that, that will shine a light right along where the blade is so that you know where to make your cut. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, the sliding part of my miter saw, or when you see a saw that says sliding, what that means is that this blade moves forward and back. It slides along your table line so that you can cut pieces of wood that are a little deeper in length. So I can go up to 14 inches so far. That's as, de as deep as I've tried with this one. And it locks back here, just like that. Right there, keeps that from going. I have a little locking mechanism here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. That when it's pulled out, that is what lifts this piece up here, where you have your handle. So when I'm cutting, I can pull down and cut my piece like so. And I'm gonna lock that back in place. Okay, now it's locked it down in place. Never move your miter without it being locked in place. And um, if you have a sliding locked back here. My bevel, which is this piece back here, you can unlock the bevel and that will make the blade swing this way or that way in case your wood needs to be at a 45 or at an angle. I very rarely use my bevel. This is for like molding or if you're doing, I guess, trim work, things like that. I have used it before, but it, honestly, it's rare. I do like having the option <laughs> though. And then down here, I'm able to twist this and this is where I get my 45 cuts most of the time. I will slide it all the way over to 45 right here. Boop and you lock it into place. And this makes it so that when you're making mosaics or herringbone, you get a nice straight 45 cut, like so. I'm gonna grab a piece of lumber here so that I can show you. So this would go up against the fence and that would go out and it would cut right along. And I'll show you these cuts in a little bit. Just kind of wanted to go over the 
pieces first. So I'm going to unlock this, push this down, and move it back to zero. And this would be a straight cut there, okay? Um, I'm gonna make sure my fence is locked in. We are moving, so I'm taking apart my shop at the moment. I'm getting ready to um, move it all to a new shop in a few months. Okay, so one of the other things that is really great about this cruiser is that it has a flat back sliding miter. So most miters um, look like this right here where there is a piece that slides back and you need that room to move your blade back and forth. The saw itself has to be pulled out from the wall to leave enough room for that sliding mechanism. But this one, you can butt this right up against the wall and it gives you a little more space um, out in the front of the saw. You don't have to pull your saw out as far from the wall. So it's a little safe uh, space saving, which I really love and gives you a little more room on your workbench. And that's pretty much the overview of the miter saw. The dust collection does come out that port on the top. So if you've got a vacuum, you can hook it up to that or most miter saws will come with their own bag. I recently partnered up with Spider Tools and one of my favorites is this fine finished 10 inch blade. It's a 60 tooth blade and it cuts so clean. There's very little tear out when I use it and that's what you will see me using for the remainder of this video. Now at the top of my saw next to my trigger there's a little light which creates this shadow line and helps me to cut precisely where I've marked my piece. Some miter saws will come with a laser, some will have the shadow line, and some will come with nothing. It's okay if yours doesn't have a laser, you can buy those aftermarket and attach them later. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple pieces at the 45 ankle just to give you an idea of how simple it is. You just move your piece to the 45, lock it in, and go ahead and cut. And it creates a perfect triangle. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to running a miter saw, learning a miter saw, using a miter saw. Make sure you keep your hands clear of the blade anytime you cut. You never want to put pressure on both sides of the board at one time while cutting. Only one side binds the board up. You'll get some kickback if you do that. Make sure you have all the safety gear, goggles, mask. If you like work gloves, I recommend Firm Grip. They're great. Um, and other than that, Whatever brand of miter saw you have, do all the research, learn about it, and then get some scraps and practice. I recommend um, long, slow passes as you learn with harder woods. You cannot chop right through the wood at one time. You have to do kind of slow passes and cut in chunks down through the harder wood. Pine and all the soft woods will be fine. If you go slow, you can kind of watch the piece of wood and learn how it feels as you go through. Um, but otherwise, it's practice, practice, practice. <laughs> As always, thank you for tuning in, you guys. I really appreciate it. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram or on my website, eternalharvestdecor.com. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so that you get my new videos. As they come out, I'm going to be throwing a bunch at you for beginners here in the next few months. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.